Hello everybody, Scotty Hoare here, solo percussionist, drummer, and teacher from the United States. I'd like to officially welcome you to our Benefit concert. We've been working very hard down here in Chiapas, Mexico to get this concert ready for you. All my students have their best pieces ready to share. And the most special part about this concert is that we're asking for your donations this time. Of course, we're used to the economic limitations of Chiapas and we have a lot of instruments that need repair. We don't have a lot of funding for travel or special projects. In addition to that, we're gonna take 10% and give it to a humanitarian organization in Poland that's helping with the Ukraine situation that has popped up in the news for us recently. So what I'm most excited about is for you to see the hard work, dedication, and talent, and just true commitment to music that these students have down here. I think you're really gonna be surprised, and you're also going to really enjoy the variety of pieces they have to offer you. They're not only interested in traditional Mexican music, very passionately, but also classical music and contemporary classical music. So I've worked with them now for about two years. Uh, they've worked on a lot of traditional music without me and also uh, some contemporary things that they're not used to doing and some orchestral and snare drum types of things that they're not used to doing uh, with me. So they have a lot to offer you. I'm really excited you've chosen to tune in. If you would like to donate, you can check out the information about Venmo or PayPal on the uh, event details below. Thank you so much for watching this benefit concert. I think you're going to get a lot out of it. And please consider donating to not one, but two very important causes. So let's go ahead and get started. The first piece on tonight's program is a Rhapsody by Michael Taylor. It's written for vibraphone and marimba duo. Now the marimba is one of the focal points of our studies here. And there's more than one reason for that. The marimba is one of the centers, if not the center, of musical culture here in the state of Chiapas, Mexico. In fact, a lot of the modern concert tradition of the marimba, uh, we can owe to the marimba chapaneca, which is the traditional marimba of Chiapas. A lot of the early uh, classical music types of performances on the marimba took place here in Chiapas in the early 1900s. And Nowadays, of course, we play all of this on, on the modern concert marimba, and we do a variety of different kinds of music. But being here in Chiapas is especially wonderful because the roots of the classical marimba uh, are, are strongly in the air here. So there's a long lineage and history of uh, playing marimba at a very high level here. So the students have a particular interest in this instrument. Like I said, this piece is for marimba vibraphone duo, and the two students you're about to hear are Alison Mendoza, who's a master student of mine, and Valeria Pinita, who's just finished her undergraduate degree. And we're very happy to present to you here Rhapsody by Michael Taylor from Marimba and Vibraphone. Thanks so much for coming to the concert. Let's get started. Thank you. 
The next piece on the program is a nice little march played with two snare drums. This is a duo between myself and one of my students. This piece is one of my favorites to study in lessons. It's number three from Anthony Sharon's Portraits in Rhythm. 
Portraits in Rhythm is a book that was a very big part of my music education, especially taking private percussion lessons with Stuart Mars and later Fernando Mesa. And snare drum is something relatively new to a lot of the students here because of their focus in marimba, their cultural focus in marimba. And also, snare drum is something I have to offer as an American percussionist. It's a very important instrument if you're learning how to play percussion in the United States. It's a very important instrument in the development of jazz and jazz drums, as well as march, which is uh, one of the American sounds internationally in music. So this piece reflects some of those studies, and I'm very proud of the work that a lot of my students have achieved in snare drum and uh, that cultural exchange process. And of course, one thing I'm always saying is that I'm teaching them a lot about things that I know from my culture, or my musical background, but similarly, I'm learning a lot from their musical culture and their musical background. So please enjoy this piece, Sarone Solo Number no. 3 from the book Portraits and Rhythm, and this is myself and my student, Eric Oconia Flores. Enjoy. All right, we're going to continue now with a wonderful little marimba solo, a prelude by Ney Rosauro, a Brazilian composer, played by one of the younger students in the Academy of Marimba and Percussion here at Unicach. I didn't want to exclude the younger, newer students from this concert and just feature the more advanced, the older ones. Uh, and we're very happy to welcome David into the Academy. He just finished his first semester, and he's given us a wonderful first impression. And David is an example of many, many, many young Latin percussionists who show a lot of promise by way not only of talent but work ethic and commitment and curiosity and exuberance and also integrity of character and respect and patience and an overall appreciation for the lineage of the art form. So I'm very happy to include David's contribution to this concert. This is the first marimba solo of the evening and it is Prelude Number 2 by Ney Rosauro from Brazil. Enjoy. Thank you. 
We're going to continue now with a piece called Theatric Number no. One by Casey Cangelosi, one of my friends and colleagues. Casey and I both started our careers at around the same time, and since then he's emerged as one of the most important young composers of American contemporary percussion music. And if you're studying percussion and you want to learn more about the United States sound, it's very important to study some of his music. So that's exactly why I've chosen this piece uh, for these two students. We're going to bring Eric back, and this time he's going to be joined by Anaí Gutierrez, officially the youngest member of the Academy of Marimba Percussion at only 18. I'm very proud of uh, the things both of these students have learned through the course, the course of studying this piece with me, learning about the American sound of percussion, applying their instincts and natural musical voice from being here in Mexico to, to the American sound, and also uh, some general things about playing together in the context of classical music or recital music that they didn't know prior. So it's been a wonderful journey with them. I'm very proud of their interpretation of this piece. And in fact, I will tag and invite Casey so he can check out this interpretation. And please enjoy Theatric Number no. 1 by Casey Cangelosi, played by Eric and Anai.
The next piece is also a marimba solo, played by one of my master students, Erika Osnaya. And the piece is called La Sandunga, and it's by Israel Moreno. And Israel Moreno is a very important, if not the most important, current living Mexican marimba player and scholar on Mexican music, especially the marimba. Not only that, but he was solely responsible for getting me here uh, to Chiapas to teach. I met uh, Dr. Moreno at a festival in Ibagué, Colombia. We played together. We were both featured artists. And uh, through the whimsical workings of the universe, uh, things worked out. And as soon as there was an opening, he invited me here to Chiapas to give me this wonderful once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to work with the students. So my relationship with him is very special. And he is also a composer. And he's the composer of this next piece. And Erika is a master student of mine focusing on music education. And she's a wonderful example of someone who's very avidly involved in her community as a musician, not only as a performer in marimba groups, uh, as an advocacy for uh, women in Chiapas, and also as an educator. She works a lot with Mexican youth in uh, public school programs and pedagogical programs teaching music. So I very much uh, admire and appreciate the work that Erica does in their community, and I'm very fortunate to have her as one of my students. So please enjoy Erika Osnaya's interpretation of Israel Moreno's La Sandunga.
Okay, well, if you've ever been to one of my concerts, you know I usually like to end with a finale with the band uh, and get really loud and noisy. So that time has come in this concert. We're going to have two really special finale pieces with full bands. Uh, and this next one is really, really special because you get the chance to hear real Mexican marimba chapaneca. Organic, raw, real Mexican marimba. And it's really exciting because this isn't something they study with me. Of course not. This is something they learn on the streets. They play with their families growing up, just like we maybe sing songs in church or play piano around the house. And almost every household here has, has a small marimba. And they make these uh, by hand, these marimbas. So what you're going to hear now is a very different sound, for one thing. It's not a modern concert marimba. It's a marimba chapaneca. And it's going to be played traditional style with four marimbists at one instrument playing four different voices. And the other thing too is uh, I get to try my hand at the drum set in the zapateado style, which is as much as I learned about the drum set, I never learned about this. I was never taught how to play drum set in a Mexican marimba band. So this has been kind of a new experience for me. So I'm going to join these guys and <clears throat> we really hope you enjoy this traditional piece uh, by the great Zeferino Nandayapa, who's one of the most important early marimba chapaneca artists that helped pave the way for what the modern marimba sound is for everybody. So enjoy this piece, and we're coming near the end. Here's our first full band finale piece. <laughs>
All right, we've reached our last piece. And I want to remind you, if you feel inspired to give a donation, you can use Venmo or PayPal using the information on the Facebook event, which will be readily accessible right below this screen. And let me tell you a little bit about this last piece. One of the most beautiful things, I think, about doing what I do here in Mexico is the idea of cultural exchange. And to me, there's few things more beautiful in the human experience than uh, cultural exchange and realizing what we all have in common, even though we have a lot of differences. And in this case, it's between United States musical culture and Mexican musical culture. And that's what I do every day is I think about these two things and how they relate and sometimes how they don't relate. And this piece is, I think, a great expression of that cultural exchange. <clears throat> I thought long and hard about how to do a piece with marimba and voice and maybe some percussion and bass with a band. And I thought, what could I do? And the light bulb went off in my head. John Thrower. John Thrower is an American composer that has beautiful pieces for marimba and singer in kind of a popular style. So what we're going to do for you here is we're going to play one of these John Thrower songs. It's called You Know. It's a very beautiful kind of self-empowerment anthem. Very youthful, very positive, very energetic. And we're going to have two marimbas by Juan de Dios Gonzalez and Anaí Gutierrez once again. And I'm going to play drums. We're going to have Eric back again. He's going to play bass. And we have Maria de Los Angeles singing. So we have a voice for the first time in the concert. And lyrics in English. It's one of the first times she's singing in English, too. So this is a real big adventure for everybody. And I want you to listen to the lyrics of this piece because I think they have a lot of resonance for today uh, about having courage and being yourself. It's been a real pleasure to play this piece with this meaning, with this group. And I really hope you enjoy a fusion of styles between the traditional Mexican marimba sound and American popular music. So thanks so much for watching this concert. This is our final piece. Again, I please ask you to consider donating. And remember, 10% of donations are going to a humanitarian organization in Poland to help with the Ukraine efforts. Okay, so cultural exchange has many masks. And right now, Ukraine really needs some help. Goes without saying. So please consider donating. And once again, enjoy You Know by John Thrower. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Ciao y adios.